Beckett. Following a tragic car accident in Greece, Beckett, an American tourist, finds himself at the center of a dangerous political conspiracy and on the run for his life. This is a brand new movie from Netflix starring John David Washington, who we've seen in plenty of films in recent years, including Tenet, Black Klansman, and more recently the Netflix movie Malcolm and Marie. He's a very good actor. He's had some misses lately. I think Malcolm and Marie and Tenet were both underwhelming at best and I wasn't expecting too much from Beckett if I'm honest. When I watched the trailer, it didn't blow me away, even the artwork for it and everything looked a bit meh, nothing too exciting. The film was directed by Fernandino Cito Filomarino, a director who I'm not too familiar with, I haven't seen any of his previous work, so again nothing to be too hyped upon. And added to that is the fact that recently Netflix have been making nothing but average at best movies. They've had a lot of flops and a lot of underwhelming stuff too. Army of the Dead perhaps being the highlight so far up to this point in the year. And perhaps all that underwhelmment and not expecting too much from the movie is why I actually enjoyed a lot of this movie. It surprised me. Now before we jump any further into the review, I'd really appreciate if you did me one little favor, that's jump below this video, hit that subscribe button, maybe even a notification bell as well for new content every single week. And with that being said, let's get back into the review. One thing I liked about the movie is that it's very to the point. There's no messing around. There's no filler in there. They establish what they need to establish and get on to the next part very quickly. Pacing is particularly strong. The movie moves forward pretty damn well. Despite being an hour and 50 minutes long, it goes by fairly quickly. So the movie is a mystery movie and all along there's a bit of suspense in there as to what's going on. We the audience have the same knowledge the protagonist has on screen. It's all a mystery to us as to who the people who are chasing him, why they're chasing him and what the hell's going on. Neither the audience or the protagonist know this, which has a little bit of intrigue to the movie. In places the movie reminded me of the likes of the first Bourne movie, the Jason Bourne movies. But in saying that it wasn't on that level of a Jason Bourne movie. While the movie had a lot of intrigue and was paced pretty well and had some good acting in it, John David Washington's particularly good in the movie. Overall by the end of the movie I felt it underwhelmed a little bit and especially the ending is a massive letdown to the movie. Now I don't want to give away any spoilers to the movie in case you haven't seen the movie and you're just trying to figure out whether you should go watch it. I would recommend checking out the movie, it's definitely worth a watch. I think if you enjoy mystery movies and crime movies you'll definitely enjoy this movie in some aspect. But in saying that the ending is a little underwhelming. I don't want to go through the ending too much but overall I was definitely disappointed by the end of the movie. There's build up all the way through, we're gonna find out what's happening, why these people are chasing it. And to be honest, when I sat here this morning, after watching it just last night, I had to remind myself why why were they after him? It's never clearly explained. Now you don't want to over explain things to an audience of course, but it's kind of left up to the audience to decide was it a political thing? Was it because of the kid? And this movie did a similar ending to The Midnight Sky, a movie I hated last year and called the worst movie of 2020. At the very end, they just focus on the main character's face, slowly zoom in, leave it way too long as he breathes heavily and for no reason then just cuts to black. As if the filmmaker got to a certain point and said, okay, what do we do now? Just end it. The movie is not a road to nothing. They do have a wrap up at the end. They do have everything come together but overall it's a little bit generic for this type of movie. We got good points and bad points. It was an entertaining movie in my opinion mainly because the pacing was good, the intrigue was there but overall it's let down by a bad bad ending. And now we get down to the rating. So what would I give Beckett a rating based on everything I've just said? I'm not going quite down the middle, slightly above down the middle. We're going 6.5 out of 10. I think this movie will be enjoyable to a lot of people who like this type of movie but then again if you watch a lot of mystery, crime, spy type of movies, you'll find a lot of this pretty generic. In my opinion, is perhaps John David Washington's best performance since Black Klansman. And I think if this movie was made later in the year, he might be a contender for awards come awards season next year, but I don't think it will be the case because the movie comes out now. I think overall the movie will be forgotten by the time awards come around. But this is where I throw it over to you guys. I wanna know your opinions on Beckett the new Netflix movie. Let me know all about it in the comment section below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? And if you enjoyed this movie review of Beckett, I'd really appreciate if you jump below this video, hit that subscribe button, maybe even the notification bell as well. With all that out of the way, thank you so much for watching.